So today we're going to be talking about the beautiful Emily Moore transmitting tower. The jewel of Yorkshire, as everybody would say. So if you can see up there, there's Emily Moore mast, as we call it. It's the icon of Yorkshire, so anywhere you're driving in Yorkshire you can pretty much see that. So the mast you can see behind me, the concrete one, is 1,084 feet high, which is 330 meters. So it is actually the tallest freestanding structure in the UK, so I'm told. And for many years, when the Shard was built in London, they were claiming that they were the tallest building in the UK. Now, technically that wasn't true because this was, and the Shard had to change how they worded their claim. So later on in the life, because a newspaper called them out over it and they said, actually you're not. And the Shard then had to change it to the tallest residential or commercial building in the UK. It was something along them lines. They had to change the wording of it. So this mast behind me began transmitting in 1971 and it's now a grade two listed building with it being such an iconic structure and it's the 24th tallest tower in the world so it's currently higher than the Canada Square in London the Shard which I've obviously just said and also taller than the Eiffel Tower but there are buildings obviously elsewhere that are bigger than this but it is the 24th tallest tower in the world now as you can see there is another tall mast right next to it now so back in 2015 or 16 they started to draw up plans to renovate the concrete tower here so they needed to work on the antenna at the top and do a lot of uh, upgrades on the tower itself now because it's a live broadcast tv tower and it broadcasts all the channels and digital services across the yorkshire region to shut it down would mean a loss of signal so what they've done is they've brought in this temporary mast here just at the side the steel one in the middle they brought that in and hired it for five years and that is going to be what they're going to broadcast all the tv stations from whilst they do the maintenance work on this one so the maintenance work is now a couple of years into it so there's probably another two years left of this one but as you can see at the top they've already replaced the antenna right at the top there used to be a large white antenna at the top now it's like a steel lattice structure that you can see it's a bit hazy today so i'm hoping you can see that in the clouds but they replaced the antenna at the top with a new one just recently and now that new antenna is actually slightly shorter than the previous one so it actually takes the height of the tower down by about 20 meters so now it's about 310 meters or something like that so it's actually reduced the height of the tower so it's not as high as it was but it's still higher than the eiffel tower this tower here like i said is a temporary structure it was built by helicopters so they started at the bottom and built the, the first section here and then they brought in helicopters to lower the next sections in and build it that way this is actually supported by guy cables as you can see i don't know if you, well you might be able to see that you can just see the cables coming down here and they are concreted down in the field by massive concrete bases just down there and they go all the way around so that one is a cable supported tower whereas the other one is a concrete structure so that doesn't need any support whatsoever now when i left to come up here this morning it was actually really bright and sunny it was beautiful especially for january it was really nice but as i've made my way over here the temperature has dropped and it is now cloudy and really overcast especially up here we're about 1500 feet above sea level where i am now so you do get the weather up here now for anybody living in yorkshire they will all know where this tower is so as soon as you say emily moore tower or the tower on the top of the hill everybody knows where it is because from any vantage point in yorkshire that's high up you can see this tower and i've even seen it as far north as darlington on the a1m1 i've seen it definitely further south than sheffield uh, west you could probably see it from Saddleworth Moor and then on the east you could probably see it as far as the Drax power station and even if you stood on the Humber Bridge you could probably see it from there as well 
So it's very iconic in Yorkshire. The tower is now operated by Arkiva. Now they manage and run the tower and manage the broadcasting services that run through the tower. That's digital, radio and all the TV channels as well. So they manage all of that. Now you can probably see that, but it does have a viewing platform right at the top of the tower. Now, they do run special competitions throughout the year sometimes to enable people to get tickets to go up there. And they also run it as a charity auction on eBay where they auction tickets off for charity to go up the tower. I would absolutely love to go up there. I bet the views are absolutely amazing from up there. Now, the lift inside, there is a lift up the middle. That takes seven minutes to get from the bottom right to the viewing platform up there. Now obviously it's quite hard to go up there and they can't open it as a tourist thing because there is live equipment in the room at the top. They use it to power the antennas and things like that and program the antennas. And there's a lot of radiation up there as well. So they've got to, they can only do it at certain times of the year. It's really tricky to get up there. So I brought you here to the Huddersfield Sailing Club. Now, while we're here, what we're gonna look at is the remains of the collapsed Emily Moore Tower. So like I said in the video just, they used the bottom section of the tower, the section that was intact when it collapsed, and they donated it to this sailing club to use as their control tower for their yacht racing, so they could watch the yachts from high above. And I've still got the bottom section of the tower that still has the door as well, intact at the bottom. And it's just behind me here. So if you can see the white tower behind me, that's the bottom end of the collapsed Emily Moore mast. Now what I'm gonna do is head over there and just give you a closer look. So the white steel structure there is the bottom end of the Emily Moore mast, the collapsed section, it goes down there to ground level. And there's a doorway in there, which is the original doorway stern the mast. Now I think it's been rendered, but it looks the same size. 